On the Alberta-Saskatchewan border is a welcoming city that was recently crowned as Canada's most rider-friendly community of 2017, Lloyd Minster. From rider-friendly businesses to great events, Lloyd Minster, Canada's most rider-friendly community, come experience it. I'm being joined by a young gentleman named Peyton who graciously agreed to be interviewed. He's 16, rides a dirt bike, and really wants a street bike, but... My mom won't let me. Why do you think that is? She thinks uh, too dangerous. Everyone out there is trying to kill us, apparently. <laughs> Does your mom ride? Has she ever been on a motorcycle? Yep. And she doesn't like it? I don't know if she liked it or not, but... Obviously, if she's not riding and she's scared to let you ride, maybe she had a bad experience. What do you think? Maybe. I, I honestly, I have no idea. Where'd your dad go? Maybe we need to ask him. <laughs> I know in my case, I had a mom that didn't want me to ride. My father would sneak me out of the house to let me go with friends to ride. But yeah, no. I understand that. And it, for her, from her perspective, it was because she'd had a bad experience. Yeah. Right? So we can understand moms being protective. However... What is it about this KTM that drew you? Uh, I just kind of always like KTMs. I think I mostly got that from my dad, but I've, I've always liked the look of them. And... Well, it is a pretty nice looking bike. So, tell me, 16, that means you're probably about grade? Grade 11. Oh, grade 11. Yeah. Okay. And aspirations, what do you think you uh, want to do for a career when you're a little older? Uh, a welder. Well, that was a pretty quick answer. What is it about fabricating welding that, that has your mind tweaked? I started it last year and I just loved it. Like, yeah. there's... See that gal over there? Yeah. She's a welder. She works for the TV show, Yukon Gold Brush. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a pretty interesting world when you get to be 16, come to a motorcycle show like this, find a motorcycle that you really like. You gonna save up for it? I think so. And what about taking a safety course? Oh, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Who do you think you'll take your motorcycle safety course with? Have you done any research? I, have no, I haven't done any research, I have no idea. If you want some advice, Alberta Safety Council. Yeah, they've got a great facility. But, so let's get back to this motorcycle and what it is about it. Obviously, you can put your feet flat on the ground. Yeah. You're really comfortable on it. Yeah. Was it just the look, just the stance of it? Is that what captured your mind? Kind of. I've always liked the RCs. Uh, I kind of like the adventure bike. So, young man, sport bike in his blood, and uh, a mom that doesn't want moms. You can't keep your kids in bubble wrap, please. Thank you very much for taking a few minutes with me. Deeply appreciate it. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle before? No. No? No. What do you think it's going to feel like? Uh, exciting. Exciting? Yeah? You're really excited to go find out what this is all about? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And Elijah, tell me a little bit about why you're out here today. Uh, because uh, for my 10th birthday, I really wanted a motorcycle, and my stepdad, he really wanted me to go on here. So for your birthday, you really wanted a motorcycle, and your dad said that before he's going to buy you one, you got to get on one and see if you like it. Good thinking, eh, Dad? Yeah, I think so, too. So tell me, Cowan, how... Oh, Cohen, sorry, how come you're out here to ride? Because um, I want my dad to buy me a dirt bike. <laughs> you want your dad to buy you a dirt bike? Good thinking, buddy. And how do I say your name again? Harwin? Harwin? Har Harwin. Uh, uh, I'm brothers with Aiden. Uh huh. And our mom and dad for Christmas just bought us new dirt bikes <gasps> so I actually got the exact same dirt bike pretty much as I'm riding right now so now you get to practice on it yeah, we can go it's too cold, it's too cold. Very, 
I'm going to let the fine people at the Yamaha Riding Academy take over. And when you guys come back in, I want to find out how this feels, okay? Thanks. So, Aiden, yeah. I was watching you. You uh, were enjoying yourself. Yep. Is it going to feel good to be on your own machine doing the same thing? Yes. What do you think? When you're 15, 16, you're going to get a street bike too? Probably. Probably. What grade are you in right now? I am in grade 6. Grade 6. Do you have a favorite subject in school? No. No. Any of Anything about learning in school? Yes. What? That I can get smarter and have a good education. That's a good answer. Right on. Well, buddy, I was very impressed watching you ride for the first time. You did an excellent job. Thank you. And you, young man, you looked like you uh, really, really enjoyed that once you got the hang of the clutch and the brake. Yeah. Yeah? So what was the best part of it? Uh... When you went fast. Yeah? It felt good. It felt good when you went faster, did it? Do you think it's going to feel pretty good when you're on your own bike? <laughs> what yeah. grade are you in? Four. Grade four? What do you think you'd like to do for a living when you're a little older? I want to be a plastic surgeon. A plastic surgeon. A plastic surgeon that rides. My kind of doctor. And, and you, young man, tell me, how'd that feel? It felt pretty good. I, I love it when I get to go fast, and I almost wiped out a couple times trying to pass them, but I, I made it out unscathed. <laughs> you did make it out unscathed. You didn't drop your bike, and it was a really good feeling, wasn't it? Yeah, it yep. really was. What grade are you in? Uh, seven. And have you given any thought to what you might like to do for work when you're uh, yeah, a little bit, but I'm not certain on anything. So, motorcycle, do you see a street bike in your future too? Uh, probably not. No, you I think you're always going to want to stay on the dirt? Yeah. Well, look at that. For some, street bikes just aren't the thing. It's the dirt bikes. In the heart of the Canadian Badlands is Drumheller, runner-up community in Canada's most rider-friendly community contest 2017. We invite you to come experience the hospitality, drink in the views of one of Canada's most unique and haunting landscapes, Drumheller, Alberta.